this presentation is for Exotic Ethiopia, UNESCO Simeon Mountain and Bill National Park Roof of Africa happening in November. This is uh, my more comprehensive slide compared to those I presented in some of the cafe session. A picture from Lonely Planet, Ethiopia. That's the date 16 to 24 November. Okay, the first thing that I have to update and correct the impression uh, before I even start to present is when I mention about Ethiopia, the very first thing that comes to people's mind, especially Singaporean, is uh, Ethiopia has uh, it's all dead body the whole island the whole country is all dead bodies uh, uh, malnutrition body all on the floor and uh, the survivor are trying to cultivate uh, plant something on a very barren land the soil that will never grow and uh, all other places are all like that okay uh, ladies and gentlemen please uh, be updated uh, these are true these are thing that was the painful past of Ethiopia it was like 30, 30 over years ago but the Ethiopia today that we are going is no longer like this okay please get updated uh, they are right now in fact the uh, one of the biggest emerging uh, economic powerhouse of the East Africa or even the whole Africa this is this affects not from me but from the World Bank okay uh, this is the website go and check out World Bank reports on Ethiopia uh, on the on the, the other side you will see this is a, uh, something on here Ethiopia economic uh, experienced strong broad-based growth averaging 10.3 percent a year from when 2005 to 06 and then um, double digit across until even today last uh, two years ago was 10.9 almost 11 percent double digit growth for almost uh, 10 over a year now ladies and gentlemen it is definitely something to uh, to 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 be very impressed. Double digit growth uh, was something that Singapore have, uh, or even China have a uh, long long time ago. Remember, and right now both countries are struggling with single digit growth. Uh, so this is definitely the emerging growing powerhouse of the Africa. Okay? Uh, no longer no longer the picture you see in uh, 30 40 years ago. Uh, look at some of the news here. For farmers, land tenure leads to more resilient. Scaling up climate smart agriculture, good governance results in better city service, thanks to a very uh, a capable uh, government and a system they have set up, they have they have improved a lot. Uh, of course, in terms of uh, agriculture management, for many many aspect, many many aspect. Uh, that's why you can have the double digit growth. Okay, uh, they they are very. Of course, one of the biggest challenge they have is always climate change because they are more prone to that that's why you can see even recently uh, that was in last month uh, 29 July last month 20, 2019 Ethiopia breaks breaks uh, three planting record to tackle climate change they are very serious about this thing because of uh, uh, the, the, the desert and, and, and many other things because of the geographical uh, landscape they have okay uh, Ethiopia has planted more than 350 million trees in a single day. Officials say they believe it is a world record. It's a confirmed a world record. 350 million in a day. Uh, not 24 hours, uh, in 12 hours, uh, they got sleep. Uh, okay. Even there's so big news that the Euro news says about them, the CBS news in US says about them. Ethiopia today are um, very much different. So, so let, let, let's just get updated, let's correct the impression you have of Ethiopia uh, as of today, okay? The Ethiopia we are going today, today, not, not 30, 40 years ago. So of course, we are not there for the economic growth, we are there for the mountain. This is a quote from uh, Lonely Planet. Ethiopia is a land of legends and mystery. The landscape is also mesmerizing. And the far north, that's where all the mountain ranges are, the Simeon Mountain, never heard of, right? Later I show you, huh? Uh, Simi Mountain is a mythical world of free middle forest, mystic be bizarre plant, exotic creatures. Tracking this stunning highland is like stepping into an otherworldly paradise. Isn't that uh, attractive? Okay, that's the reason why I am I I I never seen such a landscape and I want to go there and track. Definitely and of course take a lot of picture. Ah. 
Okay, even uh, this Simeon Mountain is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, okay? Not too long ago, okay? Massive erosion, seismic activity has caused this place to develop into jagged mountain peak, deep valley, sharp vesicle dropping about 1,500 meters. You can see river waterfalls is a straight drop, okay? Uh, also, not only that, but because of the landscape, because of the remoteness of the places, it is also home to very rare, extremely rare, uh, sometimes endangered species like the uh, baboon. The, I'll tell you later on to show a picture. The fox, the the uh, and the uh, ibex. And nowhere else found nowhere else except here, Simeon Mountain. Tracking this place, uh, is like tracking Africa's Grand Canyon by this very famous website. Tracking Africa Grand Canyon is something they dare to claim again. Okay? Grand Canyon, what is what is what is this Grand Canyon? I'll show you later on. But this is our highlight, huh? of course. We uh, of course every time you go you have to fly into the capital city, right? The capital city is called it Alis Ababa. Don't call them Alibaba. Okay? The capital city of Ethiopia. Very cool uh capital city is about two thousand over meter. Um, uh, busting with lots of historical sites, ancient cultures, uh, open air bazaar markets. It's a surmounting port of. Uh, it's 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 a very interesting capital that we we will definitely have to have to experience. The next one is the uh, city tour of uh, Gandalf. That is the gateway to the Simeon Mountain, and it's also a royal and ancient historical city. Okay, of course the highlight is the four day three night. Hiking in the Simeon Mountain, a UNESCO heritage site, and of course one of the best trekking destinations in the world. Aqua Express, breathtaking scenery, Jinba, waterfall. All this very, very color one may not ring a bell to you, never mind. Eh? I'll show you the video later on. And of course, next is the Bale National Park. We we'll go through this, the, these two red color places. And also, we are there for very exotic wildlife. Some of them found only in that Ethiopia. Okay? Uh, not a photo but this uh, this uh, Jalala monkey the ibex and Ethiopian wolf they're very uh, interesting and uh, secretive wolf got giant more red and uh, many other different things more land abundant birds of course culture is one, one big thing we also will be doing experiencing uh, Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee definitely we are there is a strong coffee culture there it's, it's, it's a nine pack day but uh, not just hiking mountains and everything but it's kind of culture it's it's a complete experience that any holiday must have lah for the adventurous traveler okay they are uh, they have 80 percent of all the highest mountains are all here in, in Ethiopia that's why they dare to claim they are the roof of Africa this is a this is a very or if you can take this picture with you inside, I tell you, it's, it, it's worth a million dollar. Okay, you, ibex, the monkeys, uh, and of course the jagged peak of the Ethiopian highland behind you. Is, oh, I I hope I can take this photo, man. Okay, um, our journey to the summit. We are not climbing the summit. We're not climbing the highest uh, mountains, about four thousand five hundred over meter. We are around it. Okay. Uh, oh yes, therefore definitely above three thousand. Uh, therefore, of course, uh, thin air, mountain signals, that kind of thing will be in uh, in one of the biggest trip preparation that I will focus on uh, for those confirmed participants. I will definitely be briefing you all a lot, a lot, and I'll be enforcing that, making sure that nobody has very severe AMS uh, issues, okay, uh, so that we can enjoy the best four day, three night of trekking ever in this very uh, different, uh, not different, it's, a, it's, it's just a uh, are what other worldliness uh, landscape this is the kind of landscape jaw dropping breathtaking uh, the first day probably your jaw will you drop your jaw second day you're gonna hold your jaw because it's keep dropping we're going there after the rainy season you can see this kind of green lush land coming out and of course all the flowers okay and uh, and then you gotta continue holding your jaw because every day you'll see this kind of jaw dropping scenery. It is a Grand Canyon, but it's not the kind of canyon you see like barren. But it's like many many different exotic plants. Some of the plants are very tall. Right? You see this kind of different landscape, man. Of course, of course, the drone video the best to go through. Ah, huh? um, it, it it looks like a desert. It's not desert. It looks like a mountain, but it has got this a bit uh, semi-desert feeling. 
very perfect for photography okay the color okay and you can see this kind of landscape you can, you can see this mountain road you can literally drive all the way up here 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 and take a picture of the beautiful landscape below you it, it's it's an experience that's going to be unforgettable and you can see this kind of landscape where the the, the mountain peak you can shoot all the way up to three thousand four thousand over meter just just out of nowhere like that okay and the rest are all below them and you see this semi desert it's very beautiful color it's gonna be very beautiful and then I told you after rainy season you're gonna see this red hot popper plant some of them quite tall huh? definitely remember to take a photo with them uh, but of course if you can get near fine but you can not there just take photo because some of them are very the moment you go off the cliff that's it bye bye okay so we'll be hacking a lot of this kind of landscape very beautiful landscape and of course this these are some something you will see for the four day three night okay the only missing here is you inside taking a talk about photo eh? when you're hiking with me make sure you are near me because i will always be the guy taking photo for you you can see of all my trip i take so many beautiful pictures for people sometimes i can't resist i take a few shots of myself but make sure you are behind me near me don't go too far ahead it's no good for the ams walk slowly okay stay near me the landscape i'll take many many photos for you okay promise as long as stay near me don't go too far in front don't do, don't stay too far behind okay so uh continue on see i told you ethiopian highland are home to africa 80 percent highest tallest mountain the highest peak is this uh 4550 meter ras dasan we are not climbing up the mountain uh, we are going around there so we will cross uh, we will our camps are about 3000 plus and we will, we will cross highest point about 4000 okay uh, really really look forward to this uh, this trip continuing on this this are all the some of the bizarre landscape you will see for the four day three night hike and this is uh, in Bale uh, National Park and of course wildlife is what we are there um, the this is the baboon it's actually the baboon with the red heart this is called jalala jil, jil, jilala okay uh, it was once you are in the highland you will see uh, many many family of them and uh, very interesting uh, and of course the uh, ethiopian wolf is uh, it's a bit rather secretive wolf you probably can spot it very from very far but to spot uh, all the family in this kind of oh, that will be a bonus lah. So for the wolf, we probably need to have a very good zoom lens for for photographer who can do that. Take note, lah. And uh, the eye bag, yes, we definitely can spot. Quite easy to spot. One thing is the how near or how near can you get to them. So this is another challenge. But definitely, it will be a it it, it will be a, a feast for wildlife photographer. Okay, this is definitely must you, you must go on this trip because you can only find this animal here, nowhere else, nowhere else except Ethiopia. Okay, this is a is a good uh, orientation of Ethiopia. Uh, obviously, they are not flat. Okay, on the north is all the highland, all the mountainous area here, and on the south, I think it is the, the the lowest point, whatever. So this is a simplified one. So we will fly direct flight, yeah, Singapore to Alis Ababa. To respect them, I don't call Alibaba. Okay, then we put a fly to uh, Gonda. Okay, then we we'll drive to Simi Mountain, 4 day, 3 night, back again, fly back, then we we'll drive to Bill Mountain, stay there 2 night, then fly, uh, drive back again and fly back to Singapore. Uh, 9 days, very action packed, every day is very action packed, in terms of a lot of things to do. So, um, very, for sure, at the 9 days will be very, very well spent. You, you, you will, you will un understand if you go, once you go through it. Now, um, at this point, I think uh, to put on names to a picture, I want to show you a video from CNN Travel. Uh, I won't show all of them, but uh, all the relevant part. Huh? Okay.
the Simian Mountains, an Afro-Alpine landscape of lush grasslands, steep gorges, plunging waterfalls, and spectacular rocky peaks, home to rare species seeking refuge at more than 10,000 feet. Welcome to Northern Ethiopia. Welcome to Inside Africa. To the beautiful Simeon Mountains National Park in Northern Ethiopia. From the city of Gondar, we drive nearly 150 kilometers northeast towards the jagged peaks formed by 40 million years of erosion and seismic activity. This park was established in 1969 to protect the rare species of animals. So, uh, are uh, endemic to this uh, country. So, uh, we are protecting uh, this uh, animal. We have a census conducted in this year, having uh, gates more than 26,000 around the national park. That one. That group. That one. Yeah, yeah. They try to dominate this group. That's why they are fighting. So the male here is too old yeah, to run yeah, the yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying to <laughs> yeah. kick him out. Yeah. They can only be And then if he has a power, he can So where are they going now? Free of enemies. Because and the view is incredible. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a beautiful yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. As we continue our wildlife journey, we are able to see some of the beautiful landscape of the Simeon Mountains. It's rainy season, which means lots of clouds, but also beautiful waterfalls. We are now searching for the endangered Walia Ibex. That is the Walia Ibex, endemic to the Simeon Mountain National Park. This uh, Walia Ibex is uh, found only in this area. Okay, I, I will stop yeah. the video here. So that, now you can put the name to a picture, like the Jingpa waterfall. Okay, uh, for the information, we are going after after the uh, rainy season, so to avoid the rainy season, but because of the rainy season, you're going to get very lush green vegetation, that kind of thing. So that, November, is a very good time. Okay, the other thing is the four day, three night trekking is actually three nights of camping. There's no, no, there's no other way, there's no hotel to stay, there's no guest house or refuge or whatever. In the mountainous area, the only way is camping, and camping is the best way. Okay, this camping is not the miserable type where you have to eat no instant noodle. It's almost close to camping. Let me show you some, I think okay, these are the tent days that we will stay in the uh, some of the th uh, three different campsites. Okay, uh, don't worry, you don't have to carry your tent, you don't have to build your tent, everything is going to be service, fully service. Hey, hello, we're in third world, huh? So, everything will be all ready, okay? Everything, uh, and, and when they're ready, they'll call you sir and madam, huh? Okay, they, they will put mattresses for you like that, two to a mat, uh, tent, whatever, this kind of tent, and even for me, uh, you, you, you don't even sit on the floor and eat. I know, got table and chair with table, cloths and all. Sir, your dinner is ready. Sir, what do you like to have? Coffee or tea? Almost <laughs> granting. Okay, I'm not exaggerating. Uh, they even will have oxygen, okay, for, for really people who have acclimatization problem because of the high altitude. That's uh, so going to be 3000 plus. I will definitely be briefing this uh, to make sure everybody acclimatize well. So you will enjoy your four days, three nights, trekking and camping in very good comfort. Okay, uh, of course, emergency one, there is also emergency measure in place. So don't worry about that. And more on the, so a meal in the outdoor, it's going to be unique, unforgettable. And uh, at, at night, I think we'll probably can come out and see Milky Way because everything will be pitch dark. Lah. Okay, and it's going to be cold because of altitude 3000 plus. But your meals are served with tables and chairs, okay? You don't have to sit on the rock and eat a miserable bun. <laughs> your breakfast will be hot, your lunch will be picnic style, and your dinner, of course, will be hot. 
with proper tablecloth. Look at all this picture with hot meal, with everything, with French fry. Uh, more detail of the food later on. Okay, uh, the other thing, uh, one of the biggest thing that I want to, <coughs> I have to address is uh, a lot of people still have worry about Africa in, 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 in general, eh? anywhere in Africa. They thought the oh, whole Africa everywhere is uh, security is a big problem, um, including Ethiopia. So I want to show you the website, um, actually by Lonely Planet. This will be the website. Um, in general, okay, compared to many African countries, Ethiopia is remarkably safe. Most of the time, serious or violent crime is rare. Against travelers, is even more extremely rare. Outside the capital, the risk of the petty crime drop still further. Okay, but of course, for us as, as usual, for anywhere you go, okay simple tips for travelers is always look as if you know where you're going thief and con artists get wind of an uncertain income cover in a, in a, in a minute in, in throughout the whole nine days right uh, in no in, in no situation where we will be asked to walk alone we'll always have a local uh, Ethiopian guide with us okay uh, and also during the four day three night we will be security forces uh, front scout and everything with us there are a lot of uh, safety measures already in place. Okay? Uh, it is unlikely that you encounter any serious difficulty. Okay? So the other thing is civil disturbance. Civil disturbance, uh, recently there was a coup that was failed. Uh, it's a history that's always there and it's also very uh, uh, localized in me. Like for example, we have a track in, in Ka Kashmir, India Kashmir, not the Pakistan Kashmir. We, we we were actually going into the period where they have curfew. Uh, we were so worried but our flight and everything is all booked already. So uh, we were debating whether go or no go. Finally, we decided to take a go because the curfew is only uh, that uh, commercial vehicles are only allowed to move after 12 midnight. Uh, so finally, we, we went. We were so worried. But uh, when we are up in the mountain, uh, we, feel, we, we feel so peaceful that there's nothing news media is always there to create news to and make it big right? so uh, that is always the case but of course uh, safety measure whatever thing uh, we still have to take precaution uh, uh, like never walk alone in a in a street alley small alley that kind of thing and you can go to this lonely website and see there's many many things uh, that are not 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 the big big uh, thingy and of course for now Singapore uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs doesn't have any the, the issue any uh, security advice against uh, traveling to Ethiopia right so that's the thing and of course let's clear the, the security concern now and go straight to the detailed itinerary the day to day okay on the 15th of uh, November why because uh, our flight is is uh, 16 morning 2 a.m. so we have to be there on the Friday night we don't we don't have to take leave from the 15th of uh, November right uh, we should be at the airport 11 30 p.m. Uh, 11 30 p.m. check in and then you can, you can get ready for a flight and then you will arrive uh, at the capital Addis Ababa on the same day arrive there and uh, I think early morning or something like that then have some refreshment then we straight away transfer to a domestic flight again, okay domestic flight to Gandong okay and uh, for, uh, upon arrival then we will have tea reception city tour a little bit then we will have a good night rest at this uh, very good hotel I will show you the picture later on the better accommodation before we rough it up because the next day onward will be the four day three night camping trekking in the Simeon Mountain, this will be an adventure and experience of your lifetime. So day two, 17 November Sunday, that's when our track will start. Of course, then we will have to drive first. Uh, drive about 100 plus to a small town, have coffee, we will guide sort out the paperwork with the National Park. Coach on Country Road, start the track at the Lodge entrance towards this particular place. Sun Cover, where our campsite is. Uh. Our first night camping. You first night camping, you already on the way can see the spectacular range already. 
dramatic skyline of peak jagged volcanic plaque tower over the highland plateau of the Simeon Mountain. Okay, compete compete with the uh, rugged gorge, deep gully to form what is rugged, the most awe-inspiring landscape. So blah blah blah. So that will be the campsite. It's three two five zero. Yes, which means that we don't have uh, an extra day for climatization. So I will advise everybody to start the Dymox the moment you arrive. 16, 24 hours for the Dymox to take effect. And now uh, two to three weeks before, I will advise everybody to start to take the the Chinese herb Hong Jing Tian. This has always been a proven uh, strategy. I've been doing for many of my high altitude hike. Uh, it's proven. Okay, uh, Hong Jing Tian, Dymox 24 hours before. When you are there, you slow down, you drink a lot of water, especially during the 24 hours, drink a lot of, wa of water. Uh, don't worry, because the day before, it's uh, all flight day, so don't worry, drink water, pee, drink water, pee. So you have your body has to uh, start to acclimatize. Because next day, you are hitting the high, high uh, not too high, like 3200 plus really. So that's the first day, so we campsite there at uh, 3250. Next day, we continue to hike to another places. Day 3, that's about 12 km walk, not too bad. Um, you do not have to carry any single tent or heavy load. You only carry your day pack and uh, enough water. Drink as much as you can. It's all refilled at the campsite. They will carry they will carry water, they will serve you hot breakfast, they will have picnic lunch for you and that kind of things. Okay, so, um, and even hot water. Okay. Uh, so another day of adventure, sightseeing, photography, veget many many things, okay, vegetation. You can see this kind of vegetation, hopefully the, the flowers should be in blossom because it's after rainy season. We we'll pass through very interesting villages, we we'll take a picture with them, have some blessing from them, okay, and route, then we cross to a different route already, um, continue the track. And then this, I think this is the day you'll see the, the, the beautiful, uh, yes, the beautiful uh, waterfalls to straight drop down, okay. So the height, okay, so the, okay, come on, mountain will have, so we have steep climb, okay, training is definitely a must. So we reach to the next campsite at 3006, so as you can see, it's a little bit higher already, yeah. So we, therefore, we definitely advise everybody to climatize well, Dymox is a must. Uh, please, if you haven't taken before, you must test the Dymox in Singapore, so you know how, how is the feeling like when you take a Dymox. Dymox is a drug, yes, I also don't like to take drugs, but it has proven many many times it helps helps 10 out of 10 cases. Of course you you you, you cannot just because you take Dymox you can run very fast, walk very fast, uh, don't drink enough water. This all this uh, safety measure but also be done and cannot be compromised. Huh? Okay, it's not a magic a magic pill to replace anything and everything. So the, this is day two of hiking. Day day four, day four will be the third day of hiking. Okay, so another another different hike, fourteen kilometer. See the lunch is always picnic. Okay, uh, spec another spectacular spectacular day. We we'll cross an interesting uh, nah, the flower already. So outstanding. Uh, this is the place where you will start to see the highest peak. That's Rasan four five five zero. Okay. Um, but we are not crossing even 4,000 meters, okay? We are cross, but we are not camping there. There's a good chance of spotting the Jalala. I think Jalala can spot an Ethiopian bull. I think hopefully the first day you can see it, yeah? Then we will climb as high as the 3,000, not 4,000. Uh, 4,000. That's will be the highest already, lah. Okay? Highest, then we descend. Over two hours to our campsite. So we climb high, but we camp low. At 3,620. Only 20 meters higher than previous night. So it's about the same height as the previous night okay day five will be the last day of the track after early breakfast we'll transfer so, so after after that we'll come uh, it will be a descent it's probably a steep descent at 90 km all the way down to Gandalf and then uh, that's where we will then uh, uh, take a flight back uh, for, uh, okay take a flight back to Alice Baba the capacity and then that's where we will stay. This uh, this place. This this is the hotel that we will stay. Uh, uh, in in, uh, in uh, the one night the night before the trekking start. Uh, okay, very nice, right? Very beautiful, right? Okay. Um, at least, uh, before I forget, we are paying for quality hotel for your info. Uh, 
not not cheap homestay in Tong Mekan. We are paying for very good hotel. That's why the land cost is a bit high. Okay. Um, now day six, of course, day five we are back to the capital city. Day six we drive to the other part of the national park. Remember the Bill National Park. So this morning we'll drive 370 kilometers away. It's about here to uh, KL. Admire the wonderful landscape of the uh, villages and people like that. Then that's where we visit this Indian Zoo Park. It's a very interesting uh, national park. It's a little, it's a bit uh, quite different from what you see in uh, the Simeon Mountain. Okay, and then and then we are not camping. Don't worry, we are staying in a good hotel for two nights. This one, Goba Hotel. I'll show you the picture. This is the entrance. So first night there, we visit the release. We stay second night here. Then we drive to the other part. Okay, then the next day we uh, drive back to Alice Ababa. 400 it's a bit long but so so uh the journey should be quite good oh by the way the Ethiopian roads are very good uh, that's what they say those highway yeah uh, uh, right upon arrival to the capital city we hopefully we have some chance to go for some of the open market to buy last minute whatever souvenir food whatever because this night there's no hotel because our our flight is a uh, late night flight again so uh, then we have a farewell dinner, traditional uh, restaurant, dancers, and we transport the airport for uh, to 11 o'clock flight. Then on the Sunday, day night, we will reach Singapore in the Sunday afternoon. Just night for you to unpack, catch some sleep, and get ready for your office next day. So it's a very compact uh, program, nine days, five days uh, leave. Uh, November that time should be school holiday so 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 hopefully some of the teacher can join us uh, this is a perfect trip for nature lovers hikers wildlife photographer definitely highly recommended adventurous traveler growth doctor this is um, something the, 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 the challenging part is only the four day three night hike the AMS that kind of stuff uh, the Bill National Park is more like visiting a, a, a tourist adventure tourist going for wildlife hiking not 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 very tough hike okay uh here then uh that is the cost we have uh, six confirmed we left four early bird discount of 50 dollar the cost uh, it's uh two two thousand nine so four night hotel three night camping that's only that okay uh, all the camping equipment full board everything over there all meals, all hotel, all fully covered. Okay, uh, cooking utensil, cooking equipment, cooking camp, camp assistant, water to clean up after the hike. Some more, Ayo. so glam, so 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 pampered. Uh. Hot water every morning. Meals and your four legged. That's a bottle. That's why you don't have to carry. It's only day packs only. Okay, uh, emergency meal vehicle standby at the designated location for emergency evacuation is all in place. Entrance fee, ground transport, mini call, GG transfer, provision of hiking scout, hike, scout assistant, police, military, English speaking guide. Everything is included. Lah. Of course, except the tips. Ah. Okay, flight. Uh, uh, the, this is the land cost. It doesn't include the flight. The international flight from Singapore, uh, we will be booking for you because it also involves two domestic flights. All is a special package we have made with the uh, Ethiopian airline and uh, we need minimum 10% to have this special package the cost is about one three so let, let's go to the next line huh? if we only book the flight we have a 10 person confirmed with deposit if we do not have that by certain deadline we will cancel the trip and we run on the deposit and of course the air the air ticket will not be booked Okay, the three day, three and a half day, three or oh, three, four day, three night lah. Okay, our uh, fully supported hiking campaign include the during the hiking you can offload to the four legged porter. Okay, you only hike with a day pack. All three meal provided. Tent will be carried by porter. Set up in three different campsites. Sleeping provided, but good to have your own liner for hygiene purpose lah. Example of meal, huh? very very like you know, four star camping lah. Okay, omelette, scramble, egg, pancake, porridge, bread with jam, peanut butter, oh my favorite, and honey. This one doesn't look like camping, uh, this kind of food, uh, it's a like hotel food, okay? okay. See, uh, lunch will be a cooked, oh, cooked lunch, wow. 
okay, I thought it was like a packed lunch, you know, simple food, cooked lunch, like rice, mixed vegetable, pasta, packed picnic lunch with vegetables and tuna. Wow, mm-hmm. luxurious okay. hiking and camping. Uh. Dinner is three course dinner. <laughs> Starter with soup, main course, dishes, and dessert some more. Of course, I think they will serve coffee. Like. <laughs> soup will be like vegetable soup, tomato, carrot, garlic soup. Main dishes will be grilled. Deep, this, I don't know what is that, but spaghetti, different vegetable. Dessert will be like fruit like banana, pineapple. Mm-hmm. Tea and coffee will serve every morning, evening. Sorry, like lunch, no, no, no. Only uh, breakfast and dinner. So, can I say this is glamping? This is not camping, this is gramping, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the flight detail. Uh. Okay, remember I told you, right? We fly international flight to Alice Ababa, then we will do a domestic flight to Gandalf, do the tracking, come back, fly back. So that's why this, that is the two domestic flight that we have to book, okay? With Ethiopian Air, plus the uh, international flight direct from Singapore. And the uh, so that is the thing. Uh, that is the flight detail. The, 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 so the, the 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 estimated cost is around there, like One thousand three hundred seventy. It's two international flight, two domestic flight. Consider very good price, really. But the only condition we need ten pack. Below ten pack, we can not get this price. That is the problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you please look at carefully, look at your leave about and decide sooner than later. We just need four more to confirm the trip right now. Okay. Uh, finally, the the web the slides is uh, uh, how tough is this thing? As I said, the only challenge is the four day three night hike because of because of the uh, high altitude. So AMS is going to be issue. I will properly uh, enforce. Make sure nobody has our issue. So I'm going to rate it uh, in term of that as uh, moderate to moderate difficult. Okay. Um, that, that's why there's a problem so um, temperature wise it won't be minus 10 <laughs> and night is going to be cold because of altitude it's going to be like maybe lowest I think is uh, after rainy season should be alright ok I'll give it the coldest uh, 5, 5 degrees uh. ok enough thicker thick thick warm clothing because your tent you're going to have mattresses and uh, 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 good good sleeping mat so and sleeping bag ok daytime is going to be nice and cool Okay, definitely need to train up. Okay, definitely need to train up. Hot meal, uh, some lunch are hot, some lunch are picnic. But breakfast and dinner, remember I show you, it's like hotel food. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, terrain definitely has there lah. Wi-Fi coverage in the mountain, I'm not sure lah. But definitely you will see a lot. Of co- you will f- you will have a lot of connection with nature lah, and beautiful scenery. Nature I provide for you. Attitude, as I said, is a problem. Now, um, water to wash during the hiking. Other than that, we are all sleeping in very good hotel. Okay, we definitely can shower every day. For the three night, I think uh, don't shower lah. Okay, save the water. Okay, do a bit of wet wipes only for three nights. But you see very beautiful things. So that is the complete uh, uh, presentation for the whole trip. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.